Indiana Repertory Theater, and I'm joined by Ben Hanna, the artistic director and currently the director of Clue. Yeah. And it takes the stage tonight. So we've been in rehearsal for a month now. How's it going? I my stomach hurts from laughing so hard. Okay, uh, and I'm so excited to share this beautiful, wild, imaginative play with everyone. Um, and you and I have talked about this before, but I want to let my audience know there is a fair amount of camp in this production. Yes, but there's also a mystery. Yes. Absolutely, yeah. You can come set up camp here because okay. it is full of camp. Okay. Uh, it is it is joyful, uh, and it's a send up of all murder mysteries. So it's making fun of, poking at that genre, and also it's a full on farce. So we call this a door farce because, as you see behind us, there are nine doors on the set, nine opportunities for actors to leave the stage and come back in at the same time, different times, running into each other, falling down. All of that hilarity, and that's part of the reason we're here is to just show off this this beautiful set. And, and I want to point out that we are talking about a professional production. These are actors who are members of Actors Equity. Yep. Uh, so we're going to see a, a, a top-notch production that then goes on tour somewhat after this production. Yes, this is a co-production with Syracuse Stage in New York. So this play has been built for both our theater and Syracuse Stage's theater. So it fits in both spaces and it'll travel right after this. So it's a limited run. So tickets are only available until May 20th. On May 20th, it has to go to Syracuse, okay. so that's your limited time to see the play. And breaking news, folks, this show is already selling well. So uh, if you want to get tickets, now's the time to do it. Um, l let's talk a little bit about the, the challenge of a production like this. Mm. I mean, this the set, for instance, is just um, amazing. It so. is amazing, and I think we're actually experiencing one of the amazing things that happens oh. in the play. So uh, I, this play requires us to be in like 11 different rooms in the game of Clue. Okay. And so our set designer Zertan Lim has created this incredible set where all of the rooms pop out of the walls. Now correct correct me if I'm wrong, but this looks like Miss Scarlet and Mr. Green. It is. They okay. are joining us. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, and uh, introduce yourselves. I want to hear a little bit about those of you playing these these important roles. Sure, I'm Eric Sharp. I'm playing Mr. Green, and it's just, it's just been such a pleasure to be here in Indianapolis working on the show. Yeah, I'm Emily Berman. I'm playing Miss Scarlet. Um, it's really been a joy to be in the room with all these creative, hilarious people. Eric is definitely one of them. <laughs> so, uh, what attracted you to the script? Did, was it Ben that approached you? Yeah, you know, the audition process varies for, for everybody in the room, but the thing that really attracted me was the idea of working with a large ensemble cast, uh -huh. which becomes rarer and rarer in the American theater, and yeah. so to be able to have this many people on stage at once all working together is such a joy, and, and it's also just so much fun. There's so much kind of heaviness in the world right now and it's really fun to invite folks to take a night and take a break from that and uh, you know see a show that has its own urgency but in a different type of way yeah and for me I think I've worked with Ben before we did book club play together a couple of years ago and I was just so excited for the chance to to work with Ben and to work with the group of artists that he brings together which is just such a joyful process um, and to be back at Indiana Rep, which is an amazing place to be. This, this theater is always full of so much warmth. Uh, I just love the Indianapolis audiences. And, and Eric, you mentioned the ensemble uh, sensibility here. And to me, I think of snappy dialogue. And, and rhythm with with a large group of actors is that what we're talking about here it is it's it has to do with the dialogue but m even more than that it has to do with being able to just sense all of the other creators on stage mm. with you um, I've been able to even during our preview performances you can feel that sense that we are all holding each other up uh -huh. and no matter what happens we're going to be there for each other and and that's just the best 
feeling to have in a collaboration. Yeah, and it's fun to be able to share that with the audience as well. So um, we're so excited to open this play tonight and, and get to share with everyone who comes into our theater. Well, we appreciate you making your entrance to, to join us in the interview, <laughs> folks. Um, and, and Ben, what, what else do people need to know if they are thinking about coming out to the show? You should uh, go online, go to okay. IRTlive.com, or you can call our box office. But I, I suggest going online to just get your tickets there. This is the last show of our 50th anniversary season. So we're so excited for everyone to come out, see the last show of our 50th, and celebrate. You heard it from Ben Hanna, and if that's not convincing you, check out the QR code at the bottom of your screen, folks.